Hey there, it's Brandon from Virtual DJ, back with another tip of the day. The release of Virtual DJ 2024 includes many upgraded features. One of the best additions is Cloud Drive. With Cloud Drive, you can access many popular cloud services like Google, Apple, and Dropbox that you might already have a subscription with. Once connected to Virtual DJ, you can utilize it to back up your library, upload a set to guest DJ on a different computer, or to prepare for a gig on your office computer and sync to your performance machine. Here's how to use it. Cloud Drive is located in the online music folder in the left-hand folder browser. Click on the Cloud Drive folder and then click in the center to connect to a Cloud Drive service. Now, unlike some other software, Virtual DJ doesn't force you to use any particular cloud service. In fact, many of the most popular ones are already supported and probably one that you already have a membership with. You can choose to connect to Google Drive, Dropbox, OneDrive, or iCloud. After choosing your cloud service, a browser window will open where you can log in with your credentials. Make sure to allow any security prompts and that's it. No need to download any external utility, no need to link accounts or anything else complicated. Now that we are connected to my cloud drive, in this example, Google Drive, here are a couple of ideas on how to use it. Let's say I'm going to my buddy's house for a practice session and I want to play a set, but I don't want to have to lug my computer over there. To do this, I'll create a new list on my cloud drive. Then I'll simply drag and drop the tracks that I want to play into this list and they will automatically be uploaded and retain all cue points, any metadata, any prepared stems, and more. Virtual DJ will display each track's progress as it uploads. A cloud icon overlay will appear once the track has fully uploaded. Now, on the other computer you want to DJ with, log into your cloud drive with the same credentials and voila! There is your Cloud Drive list complete with the tracks you have added, and loading any of those tracks will also load cue points and other saved information, just as if you were to spin on your own computer. Another useful example is to use Cloud Drive to back up your main music library. Now, if your subscription plan allows for enough space, you can perform this easily by simply right-clicking on a folder, sync to Cloud Drive. After Virtual DJ recurses all of your subfolders, your backup will start to upload to the cloud. Now, the time it takes to complete this step will greatly depend on how large your library is and your internet upload speed. Once complete, all of the tracks will be saved into the cloud and any changes you make in the future, such as adding or moving files, changing queues, will automatically be mirrored to your cloud folder. And if you ever have a hardware problem with your computer and lose your hard drive, you can now feel safe that your tracks and organization are safely backed up off-site. And finally, you can also use Cloud Drive to prepare your lists and tracks on your computer at home and automatically have it mirror to your performance computer. To do this, select a folder or create a new folder or create a new list and add tracks that you want to prepare for your gig. Once you're finished adding tracks, right click and sync to your Cloud Drive folder. Once the upload is finished, you can then open the folder or the list in the Cloud Drive on your performance computer. Now right click or Control plus click if you're on a Mac and select synchronization. Create two-way synchronization on this computer. Virtual DJ will now download and place this in the proper location. In this case, it will be placed in my lists. Additionally, any changes that you make on either computer will be reflected on the other. As shown here, adding cue points on my performance computer while at my gig will automatically be mirrored and available for me to use when I load the same track back on my home computer. That'll do it for this tip of the day. We hope you found it helpful. If you have an idea you'd like to see in our next tip, email tipoftheday at virtualdj.com.